Good evening guys, I am starting to clean up the house for this evening and this is my like big thought process time and I was, I was sweeping and I was like, I should invite you into this and you can totally join me in my thought process and how my evening goes and I really kind of enjoy my evening cleaning time. It's a stress reliever. So you're gonna, or not really, or stress prevention, I don't know, it's one of those or the other. I'll talk a little bit more about it, but for now, let's sweep. <laughs> There have been a couple of times that people have asked like, why doesn't Tim help clean up the house? And he does, you usually just don't see it because whenever we're cleaning and he's vlogging, um, you don't get to see what he's doing because he has a camera. And so there are times that he helps clean, but like right now, while I'm in the kitchen cleaning by myself, Tim's upstairs doing the bedtime routine. And for us, that just works. Him doing bedtime routine while I'm cleaning is doing a favor to me because I prefer it that way. Um, and so he just, he doesn't really have a preference usually, like he'll clean if I want him to clean and let me do bedtime routine. But usually by the end of the day, I'm wiped out and worn out and not the most patient with the kids. So Tim usually has the patience to get the kids in bed at night and I can clean. And <laughs> this would come as a huge surprise to my parents but even when, I wanna say I remember in junior high even, like cleaning was a stress reliever for me. And I, don't, I did not do it much at all. I only really remember one instance. I was over at a friend's house, um, probably for a sleepover or something, but um, I think the second day, I got really mad at my friend and we just got in a fight and I cleaned her whole room for her because <laughs> that was just like, I get this like bottled up energy whenever I'm frustrated and Cleaning is just a positive release for that, and so that's what I did when I was little, um, when I was younger, is I cleaned. And so, at the end of the day, I usually have worship music playing in the kitchen, and it's just a time for me to like clean, and like I know that it's gonna be clean when I wake up in the morning, and I love it, and it just helps me, it's a time for me to think, or just to worship, and just kind of debrief about the day and see how things went and what do I need to get ready for tomorrow. And I really, I really do enjoy the time. <laughs> I was responding to a question on Facebook yesterday, somebody asking, how do you have the energy to clean at the end of the day? And I gave her a few um, answers on it, but I totally left out that like, I actually enjoy this time at the end of the day. And then my answers that I did give her is, I have to make sure that I'm up on my vitamins. I, <laughs> it's been very humbling for me. I don't know where it is. Oh, I have the little like, I have the little vitamin dispenser thingy or whatever to tell you like, what pills to take on what day. And that to me was really humbling to start using because it just made me feel a lot older than I want to feel. And I also, um, I have the Ninja Red supplement that I took when I was pregnant with the twins that I will take as well if there's a day that I'm just feeling like, just like I'm really dragging. Because we don't drink coffee. We don't do caffeine a whole lot um, just because we don't like coffee. We don't like the taste of it and we drink water for the most part at home. So we don't get a lot of like caffeine intake. And so, yeah, so just staying on top of my supplements. I also am running a lot, um, well, three times a week. And that for me is a stress prevention because I have to stay on top of that because if it gets, for me, if it gets to the point where like I need the stress relief more than just cleaning the, at the end of the day, um, I'm not a real patient mom and just not real kind overall. So I try to keep things in place for prevention instead of getting to a point where I'm like, I need to do this and like start getting kind of crazy. So I try to just stay on top of like knowing what I need and when I need it. And, and, that's, and that's what I do. And so part of that, like all of that, taking care of all of that aids and giving me the energy that I need for helping, for 
making sure that our house, man, mostly the kitchen, the rest of the house, I don't really care, um, but mostly the kitchen is just good and in a functioning place so in the morning we can have three meals again the next day. We talk a lot about being a family team and I feel like that all starts with the mom and dad of knowing the roles of, of who functions best in what role, I guess. And, and just letting people function in that way. Sometimes you gotta step up and do a role that you're not real excited about or you're not the best at um, because there's other needs happening at the time. And so, but I'm so thankful just for the concept of being a family team and working together, but it's also spending time with each other and just making things function well. So that's what, just what I was thinking of, is just, I'm so thankful that Tim and I have learned each other's strengths and weaknesses over the years and have learned to say, to recognize that in each other and in ourselves and allow each other to function the best that we can. Something else that helps keep the house clean is being OCD about my kitchen floors. I really am. Like, I feel like I have studied our tile so much that I can easily spot a place that's dirty and I know it's clean. In the beginning, it really drove me crazy because we have this little crack in our tile and I always thought it was a spot that I know that, that belongs there. And that does not. <laughs> it's really kind of sad. I have an issue. But I've gotten better. Like, I don't know if I've mopped this week yet, which would normally drive me crazy, but I've been working on that and trying to put the family first and put my sleep first. So like last night I stayed up watching Survivor and then got hooked on The Voice. And then by the time that was over, it's like, I just need to sleep. I can make sure that I start mopping and cleaning sooner tomorrow and mop really good tomorrow. Cause it takes so much longer when I let it sit a few more days. I'm thankful I'm not OCD about everything, like my countertops, because I can just leave that and that doesn't bother me and I can go to bed. My floors are clean and I'm hoping that maybe when we don't have twins crawling around on the floor, eating everything off of the floor, I'll be able to relax a little bit on the floors, but for now, I want them really clean. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get our videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays as we are learning to raise six kids ages seven and under now. They're getting a little bit older. <laughs> and just learning how we work together the best as a family team, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.